Friday, you sons of guns. It is about 61 degrees, nice and chilly, but the sun is shining and we got several days of sunshine coming up ahead of us. The leaves are changing colors. The area is beautiful, but the car looks like hell and it's time to give her a good wash. Nobody's home to bother me. I don't have any commitments today. So we're gonna get the old pressure washer out and give this thing a foam bath with the old chemical guys foam cannon. Well, before images. Nasty. taking a cruise but I got to get up to the mountains and I think I'm gonna head to North Carolina tomorrow morning the leaves are changing it looks beautiful in the woods and uh, we just got to see how this thing handles now with the better tires lighter wheels better brakes chassis stiffening components from sole function we got this thing set up damn near perfectly uh, we need some adjustable control arms so we can dial in the alignment but other than that I think this thing's ready to rip in the twisties.
as I'm getting this thing all dried off and looking good, and I've discovered something that really kind of pisses me off. You know that I take very good care of this thing, and I keep it pretty darn clean. You know, we're always doing videos and taking pictures and things of that nature, so it's gotta look good. And there's something about a black car that just, mm, looks good. Clean black car. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. But the one thing I do hate about washing our vehicles is, again, don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy keeping a clean vehicle, but the one thing that bothers me, especially if you drive it every day or on a regular basis, is that every time you clean it off, at least in my case, I seem to find a new imperfection. Now, I don't really have any dings or scratches or nicks on this thing, uh, but driving on the interstate uh, every day almost, uh, you can expect to pick up some rocks and things like that. High speeds, heavy traffic, the front bumper has taken a lot of uh, uh, abuse, almost looks like it's been sandblasted. Uh, and I've polished it to the point where I don't think I can really polish it anymore. Same with the hood. So I'm getting ready to either wrap this car, I think, or uh, have the front end resprayed. Uh, and then in that case, I may do the sport bumper conversion. A lot of people have been asking me to do it just for content purposes. I've I like the non-sport bumper with a splitter. I think it actually looks pretty tough. Um, but if I'm gonna be respraying it, I might as well do the sport bumper conversion too while I'm at it, right? So, you know, those kind of things are things that I've uh, considered and just gotten used to, and it's something that you sort of expect when you drive your car on the interstate on a daily basis. And the car six going on seven years old now, right? So you gotta think there's going to be some imperfections at this point. But as I'm driving this thing off, I've discovered something new that was never there before and I don't know that it can be fixed and I'm a little bit angry. Now, I'm not sure it's going to show up on camera, but I hope it does. Speaking of sandblasting, it sort of looks like this area, the rear portion of the lower of the rocker panel, it looks like it has been sandblasted. This car has been cleaned, wiped down, you know, foamed, uh, and it's completely dry and clean. It's still pretty smooth to the touch and I'm gonna have to try to polish it but it looks like the clear has really taken a beating and it really only runs this portion of the rocker everything else down the front is pretty good but this looks terrible now, I've run these same tires on this car sitting at about this height for many many months now and again I drive this thing all the time and I wash it all the time and I'm expect inspecting the condition of the paint all the time and this is not something that I've noticed until today and I'm gonna blame it on the Vicra side splitters I, I, I mean she do look good still right I mean I went around here the other side to see if it's more clear I hope the camera's picking it up I really can't tell in the screen but it looks not good obviously it's not gonna be super noticeable because of its location but Try to get this, get this angle. But, you know, I've been up in the air about these Vicar side splitters since installing them, as you guys know. Check out that video if you haven't, and check out my review video if you haven't seen that yet either. Uh, good price, not super high quality in my opinion. Uh, they look pretty good in photos, I gotta say. You know, it gives it a, a, the car a different dimension. But what I'm guessing is going on here is that when these tires are spinning, they're of course throwing up road debris, whether it's you know, dirt itself, uh, dust, rocks, water, dirty water. And usually it just continues to spray. Now it sits pretty flush, no doubt. But, you know, there's a little bit of hangover where the tire hangs over, so it's gonna throw here. But normally it just continues to go down to the ground. But in this case, I think it's probably hitting this fin and the splitter itself causing it to bounce right back up onto the rocker. And it's pelting this rocker like crazy, obviously, because it is damaging the clear coat. I apologize for making it all about this damn rocker damage, but this kind of ruined my day, to be quite honest. We're gonna have to polish it up. I'm gonna finish cleaning this car up.
light Santa. I really like using that foam cannon, guys. It works pretty good. I'll put a link in the description down below to the one I use from Chemical Guys, but there are other versions available on Amazon too for much cheaper that do just as good of a job. There are some available also that you don't need to use a pressure washer for, which can be helpful if you don't happen to have one or you don't have a garage to keep stuff like that in. Uh, but check those out there. They, they really help in getting your vehicle thoroughly cleaned, which is a, a good thing from time to time. I just ordered a new item or a set of new items for the Q52, so stick around for those videos coming up. We're gonna do an installation and then a little bit of a, a modification video with those, I think. So stick around, stick around, and maybe something you guys are interested in. Uh, more plans coming, we got a trip coming up, we got some stuff happening with the Q50, and uh, but stick around guys. I, the holidays are quickly approaching and I really wanted to do a big holiday giveaway. So I'm planning some stuff. I'm thinking about some stuff right now and how I want to do it, what I want to include, and maybe who I want to include in on this. So stick around for those details too. We'll do a dedicated giveaway video and I think you guys are going to like it. I'm pumped. I'm excited. Good stuff coming to end out the year. More good stuff coming to bring in the new year as well. So I hope you guys will follow along. Onward and upward for this channel and onward and upward for you guys. Nothing but the best for everybody watching. I appreciate the continued support more than you guys know. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you in the next one.